Welcome to Factoring Difference of Two Squares, a Lawrence Academy screencast. So the general form is x squared minus y squared. And what we do is we take the square root of each of the terms. So the square root of x squared equals x. The square root of y squared equals y. And then we just take those two numbers and add and subtract them and multiply their products like we have here, x minus y times x plus y. So in our example one, we have 4x squared minus 9y squared. So the square root of 4x squared is going to be 2x. And the square root of 9y squared, well, the square root of 9 is 3, square root of y squared is y, so we have 3y. So if we are trying to factor 4x squared minus 9y squared, it will be 2x plus 3y and 2x minus 3y. And that is our answer because we can't simplify further. Now, looking at our second example, we have a couple different things. First, we can take out a greatest common factor. We see 4 and 16. We can take out a 4. So we're going to do that first. And then what we notice is our exponents are a little different than the 2 that we are used to. But all we have to do is say, okay, what is the square root of x to the 6th? Remember, a square root is what times what equals itself. What times itself equals that um, result. So we're thinking with exponents, we add when we multiply. So x cubed times x cubed would give us x to the sixth. Um, so square root of x cubed times x cubed is just x cubed. So all we do is we take half the exponent. So what do you think the square root of 4y to the 8th will be? Remember, the square root of 4 is 2. And then what is half of the exponent? It is y to the 4th. So we have 4 times x cubed plus 2y to the 4th and x cubed minus 2y to the 4th and we just keep the 4 that we took out in the beginning in the front. And that is our answer. Our third example, again, is a little bit tricky. We see those big exponents again, but we know how to do that. So we have half of 4 is 2, so we have x squared minus 4y to the 4th and x squared plus 4y to the 4th. Oh, that wasn't so bad, but what we have to be careful here is that this first binomial product can be factored again using difference of two squares because we can factor that into x minus 2y squared and x plus 2y squared, and then we still have the x squared plus y to the fourth. Now remember that this is the difference of two squares so that's why we cannot factor this one anymore because it's a plus and we can only do it when it is a minus. So this is our final result. So remember you have to keep going if you have another difference of two squares. Our last example we have x squared plus 25y to the fourth and if you remember what we said, when we have a plus, we can't do anything about that with difference of two squares. It's not a difference. So we see if we can do a greatest common factor, which we can't. So this is not factorable. And that is our final answer. And here we have a couple try this on your own problems. So number one, 36x squared minus 100y squared. 2, 27x cubed minus 12xy squared, and third, a to the fourth minus b to the fourth, sixth. Um, always remember to factor your GCF first. You want to do the greatest common factor 
first. It will make the problems a lot easier. So be sure to do that. Good luck.